I'd like to talk about conservative investment strategies. And the big area here is, as I've been an advisor for a number of years, uh, I, I work with Wall Street. Wall Street does a real good job of a couple of things. The opportunity for growth and liquidity. But as we saw in 2008 with the crash of the global markets, uh, they don't do a very good job with conservative, uh, safe investment strategies, and they don't do a very good job of lifetime cash flow. The insurance industry can do a very good job of those. So when I'm talking to somebody about their financial plans or retirement plans, we often want to combine the best of those two worlds. Now the problem on the insurance side, and the insurance side again is going to, I'm going to talk about the more conservative investment strategies and the opportunity for lifetime cash flow. The problem there is that most insurance policies that are sold are something that's called a variable annuity. These are sold by non-fiduciary licensed advisors. They have a very high commissions. They invest in the stock market. So as long as the stock market's doing really well, you might be okay. But most people that are trying to uh, invest in something conservative are not wanting to do the stock market. So we have to be very careful about variable annuities. I do not put people into variable annuities. There's also something called fixed annuities. What's a fixed annuity? A fixed annuity is something like a bank CD. It's issued by an insurance company. It pays you a fixed amount of interest for a set period of time, a little bit higher rate than the bank would pay you. That's all I'm going to say about those. They're boring, but you know, they have their place. The third kind of annuity, we covered variable annuities and fixed annuities, is something called a fixed indexed annuity. Now, if you've been to some of these um, classes, education classes, a lot of these guys are in the business of selling fixed index annuities. And I tell you, if you've got widgets for sale, everybody you look at needs a widget. So these things are good in the right circumstances. If they're meshed with proper tax planning, estate planning, uh, trusts, and, and all the other investments on the Wall Street side, if they're, if they're mixed in properly, they can be a very good tool. And that's how um, my firm would use them. It's as a tool to achieve a result. Now, what's the result you can achieve with a fixed index annuity? The most common result for me is someone will come in, they say, we do their financial plan. They have a big 401k plan, probably no pension anymore. And they're wondering, am I going to have enough money to retire? When can I retire? What's going to happen to my wife if I pass away too soon? All these different questions. And they're very nervous about the stock market very often. They've been through two crashes. A third one would devastate their retirement plan. Uh, there's all kinds of examples I could provide where the one crash in your retirement could devastate your retirement plan, and then you're working at Walmart at age 75. Don't want that. If you've made enough money, you want to preserve that, and you want it to grow without risk, and you want cash flow to spend. Boy, that sounds like nirvana. These can provide all of those benefits. So a simple example would be a particular kind of annuity, fixed indexed annuity, where if you invest the money in it, as the stock and bond market increases on a year-by-year -year basis, it goes up. You don't get all of the increase. You get part of the increase, a good chunk of that. If the next year the market went down, you give nothing back. You stay there. And let's say it had a two-year crash. You stay there. And in the fourth year, it had a really good recovery. You don't get all of the recovery. You get a big chunk of it. So as time goes by, you can only go up or sideways. Much higher than any CD would return or money market or other safe investment. And so it's important to understand how these can work in your retirement plan. Maybe you want some stocks and bonds and real estate and other risk assets. But you decided, boy, wouldn't it be nice if 40% or 50% of my assets could never go down in value? So that's where these can be a good, good tool. Now, there's all kinds of companies. There's all kinds of methodologies. Some look good on paper, but if you're a, 
a geeky CPA like me and you've read all the inside, inside outs of these things, some of them aren't so good. So you've got to understand what's inside of them. How are they going to react in different markets? When are they good for you? When are they not? And, and analyzing these different uh, annuities can help you pick the one that has the highest upside. None of them have a downside on an annual basis. They all have a floor of zero on an annual basis, no matter how bad the market was that year. A secondary component of these uh, is that upon annuitization, meaning you've seen that thing go up and up, maybe it's your 401k plan, and you decide, hey, I'd like to turn that into like a pension for myself. I want a lifetime payout from this annuity. So it will pay you monthly for the rest of your life, no matter how long you live. If you sign up for it properly, it will also pay your spouse for as long as they're alive, no matter how long they live. Now, if you had an investment account and you put money into it and you were drawing, say, 7% a year off of that, eventually it probably runs out of money, especially if you have a crash and it runs out quickly. With these, it doesn't matter how long you live. Once you start pulling, let's say it was 7%, once you start pulling that, it will come out for the rest of your lives as long as one of you is alive. Now, questions I'm always asked is, well, what if we get in an accident then our heirs are, are cut out? No. That's what's called a life annuity. A life annuity ends just like a pension or Social Security. They end when you pass away. There's nothing left. These are investments. So let's say you're a couple of years into taking payments. You're on a plane trip. It goes down, and both of you pass away. The remaining investment account, plus all of its earnings, minus what you've taken out, goes to your heirs. So there's really no chance that you or your heirs can't take out more than you put, uh, or I'm sorry, take out less than you put into this uh, product on your original investment. So they can be an, a critical piece of your cash flow planning in retirement and your investing. And you can combine different strategies that do different things. Maybe one of them starts in a year, and maybe one you're going to grow and, and decide later if you're going to annuitize it and take monthly payments for life. And then you can lock that in at a later date, and you can ladder these uh, investments. But they're a very important tool. They do something that a Wall Street investment could never do, and they can become something very critical. But beware, again, of the sales guy that says, hey, have I got something for you? Maybe it fits. Maybe you need the cash flow. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're not a conservative investor because you have so much money put away, you don't, you're not worried about that, taking on that additional risk. There's a lot of things that go into proper conservative investment strategies, but that's one of the tools that I would say, you know, most people have read about annuities and they maybe read something very negative, that they aren't good. The salesman gets all this money. I think they're talking about variable annuities in that respect. So make sure you're reading about the right kind of annuity. Fixed index annuities are the ones sold by fiduciary licensed advisors. Variable are not. And so when you're doing your analysis, make sure you're talking to somebody who actually understands the insides and outs of these and how they can work in your financial plan.